No more waiting. No more holding back your dreams. It's finally time to resume play. With more trips to more places and over 90 years experience, celebrate the world's grand return with APT. Explore our extensive range of tours and cruises. Search APT Luxury Travel. Hello again from the Wild Sea Precinct at Melbourne Zoo. Tonight the zoo is launching its summer cinema. You can catch some of your favourite films and critically acclaimed pics as the sun sets in the lush surrounds of the zoo, as well as taking in the local DJs, food and drinks on offer. And it's all in aid of Melbourne Zoo's important marine wildlife rescue efforts. Today we had the pleasure of meeting the Fiordland penguins, some of which were rescued by the Zoo Marine Response Unit and brought here to be treated by the expert vet team after they were found distressed and underweight following their swim from New Zealand. And while they enjoyed frolicking in the water today we stayed nice and dry it has been rather chilly the city peaked at 18 degrees but the feels like temperature was around 13 or 14 for much of the day and there are still a few light showers about but nothing more than a sprinkle the cool cloudy conditions extended right across southern victoria under southerly winds the numbers are a bit deceiving kilmore's maximum of 14 felt like eight and there's been isolated showers through central and eastern parts up to six millimeters in the far east but most places have recorded less than two in the north mildura reached a sunny top of 27. Heavy rain and storms have continued today over parts of Queensland and northeast New South Wales, soaking already saturated catchments. Tomorrow those storms will push further north and for us a high pressure system to our south will edge closer. Once again southerly winds will be a bit gusty at times but with plenty of sunshine for most of the state it will feel a lot nicer. From there we'll have a run of very stable weather and it's looking better each day. Daytime temperatures are set to climb gradually throughout the weekend and into next week. Tomorrow there could be some patchy drizzle about the central ranges in the morning. Isolated showers will persist in the southeast, but falls will be very light under a millimetre. Temperature wise, minimums will be between 8 and 15 degrees, then it's maximums in the low to mid 20s through the south. In the north, Mildura and Shepparton will be our warmer spots, both heading for 29. Here in Melbourne, minimums will range from 7 at Fernie Creek to 14 degrees before most suburbs warm up to 24 or 25. From a low of 13, the city should reach 25 degrees. 27 and mostly sunny on Saturday, even warmer on Sunday, 29. 29 again on Monday with even more sunshine, then climbing into the low 30s. 31 degrees on Tuesday, 32 Wednesday and 31 next Thursday. And Pete, the opening night film, The French Dispatch, will be getting underway at around 8.30 tonight if you can't make it to that. The Zoo Summer Cinema will be running on Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights through to the 12th of March, Pete. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you so much, Lavinia. And Melbourne, that's what's news this Thursday. Tracy's next with The Current Affair. Enjoy your evening and good night. <laughs>